In this video, we're going to be adding a favicon, or is it a favicon? Favicon? Favicon. Anyway, you know the little uh, icon that appears up in your tabs in your browser. Yeah, we're going to be adding one to our WordPress website. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So this is just a very quick video. We're gonna add a favicon, a favicon, or whatever it's called to our WordPress website. So let's get on the computer and get it done. Okay, so I'm over at zombiemerk.com, which is a website I created in a previous video tutorial. Uh, be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it. But anyway, this website and the theme that we're using, it doesn't have an easy way to add a favicon. And we'll call it a favicon going forward. Uh, I'll stick with that. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it with um, just the WordPress general settings. So this should work on any theme that you're running. It doesn't really matter. Now some themes do have a favicon option, it makes it quite easy, but others don't. So, uh, but let's say this should work on any theme at all. As we can see at the moment, there's just this little crocodile favicon up here, um, which is the kind of host gator default. So I want to change it to my zombie here. Um, so let's do that right now. So I'm already logged into the website, so I'm just going to go into the dashboard. Now, of course, you will need an image to use for a favicon. Um, I've uh, just put one together. I'll show you it is. Here it is. Um, so it's just his face on a 64 by 64 square. I've left the background transparent because I think that's better. That looks better than uh, you know having a white square. And yeah, it's a PNG file, and that's it. 64 by 64. So within the dashboard, you want to go into Appearance and Customize. And then in here under Site Identity, I've got this thing here called Site Icon, which I guess is Favicon. I don't know why they haven't called it Favicon. Everyone else does, but eh. Site Icon. So I'm going to select Image, and then I'm going to upload. It says Suggested uh, Dimensions 512 or 512, but mm, my image isn't that big. I don't think it really matters. That seems pretty big for a, a Favicon. So I'm just going to navigate to the file on my computer. It's just there. And click Select. There we go. And there it is. If someone adds it to their phone, that's pretty cool. Let's go with that. And then let's click Save and Publish. And there we go. We can see that it's changed. I can come out just by clicking that cross. And then if I go up to the site, there we go. So that was short and sweet. I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them below. If you like what I'm doing, please uh, hit the subscribe button and like this video. That would be really cool. Uh, but until next time, it's bye for now. See you later.